Hello everybody, this is Dark Ninja, and today I'm making a correction slash Q&A video about the video I put out a couple days ago called Rotation Mechanism is Not a Mini V-Step. But there's actually a couple problems that I'm going to be addressing in this video, and they're pretty big problems as well, so it, it somewhat changes the outcome of the tests I did in this video. Um, so that's what I'll be covering today. So... I made a list of a bunch of questions as long as observations about my tests that people made in, the, in my comment section. I did some more testing and found some important things which I did not realize, which uh, definitely influences the results that um, you can get and in terms of how greatly rotation mechanism improves bloom. So there's two major problems with my previous video. The first thing which I just completely forgot about and overlooked <laughs> is that while rotation mechanism does not work exactly like a V-stab during hull rotation and turret rotation because of the uh, extra effect that it has on increased turning speed, uh, <clears throat> it actually does work exactly like a V-stab during hull forward and backwards movement because it involves no traverse. So it just works exactly like a V-stab, minus 15% for a bounty to dispersion during hull, forward, and backwards movement. Um, <clears throat> which is a pretty big mistake because uh, a lot of the time when you are aiming on a corner, for example, all you're doing is going forwards and backwards. I would say it's not a huge deal for most tank destroyers who are just camping on the red line and aren't really moving anything except their turret or gun uh, side to side um, but it is sometimes important if you're like playing in a city in a grill and you reverse around a corner to shoot somebody or if you put rotation mechanism on on uh, tanks with turrets like a 430U for example which peaks a corner that would make a big difference in that situation the second thing is a little bit more complicated um, but probably even more important than this first one. And this is the main reason why I'm making this video instead of just making a pinned comment under the other video is because of this reason. And the reason is your turret speed determines how influential rotation mechanism is on your bloom. So essentially the slower your turret is turning, the more impact rotation mechanism has on your bloom. Um, <clears throat> and I assumed during my test, the reason why I did a 360 degree test, which has your turret moving very fast, is because I assumed that the turret works in such a way that even if you move your reticle just slightly away from your gun, your turret will just snap to it at the same speed. Like the, vo the velocity would become maximum instantly. There's no acceleration, which I was wrong about. In fact, as I'll show you in this uh, test right here, the effect is actually huge. Um, you can turn your turret extremely slowly, which, you know, when I'm playing, I do know this, but for some reason it just didn't connect in my mind that that's, ex that's what's actually happening. Um, but as you can see here, I'm just barely dragging my uh, aim point in front of my reticle. And it's just moving very slowly towards it, never reaching it. Um, and then when I snap my reticle, then the, the circle just blooms huge. And then the turret accelerates much faster um, towards the aim point. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, what I assumed was that the turret, when you were turning your turret slowly, controlling your bloom, I thought that the reticle was actually catching up to the aim point like this and then you would move it slightly more and then it would catch up and then you're just kind of slowly dragging it like that and that was not reducing bloom um it was more so just giving you more time to aim as you're getting your turret onto the target but that's not how it works uh this was the i think the first person to point this out feely filio i'm not sure Turret rotation also has an acceleration. It's common to see high-level players who turn their turrets slower on 4,000 fives. And that's actually 
you know, <clears throat> that's absolutely true. I even made a video in the 4005. Um, it's called something like uh, the ultimate guide to bloom control where I showed off that tip, but it just didn't click with my mind for some reason. Um, <clears throat> and so how much of a difference does this actually make? Um, is it just a small difference? Like does rotation mechanism just slightly improved at slower rotation speeds for the turret? We'll actually have our answer here. So here I've set up three different uh, setups. A Sheridan with no equipment. Let me turn off my webcam real quick. A Sheridan, setup one, Sheridan, no equipment. Setup two, Sheridan, no equipment except a rotation mechanism, bounty. And the third setup, just an, a bounty improved aiming unit. And then I, what I did is I went to tanks.gg, put those, set up the tank how I wanted to, um, and then just, uh, and then I go here and set the decimal places to four. And that will allow you to see, for example, you know, the last two decimal places of the accuracy, for example, it just makes it more accurate. And I plugged in those numbers over here on the left for setup one, two, and three. Uh, as you can see, these are all the same numbers for aim time. However, the dispersion is lower for the aiming unit, but the uh, movement penalties go down for the rotation mechanism, but its turret speed goes up, which you need to put in this this box here and so when the in this box and so when the turret speed is going max and the IRM has increased speed then the improved aiming unit which is in the orange as you can see is actually its reticle size over time is actually smaller than the improved aiming unit which is what I showed in my last video but if you for example matched the uh, rotation speed of the first setup, which doesn't have rotation mechanism, needs to be this box. Then suddenly the rotation mechanism, which is in blue, is actually better than the improved aiming unit. It's about twice as good when you're moving your turret at the same speed as you would have if you did not have rotation mechanism. And so in general, as long as you're controlling your turret um, to match previous speeds with the rotation mechanism as if you weren't didn't have it, then you will benefit from better bloom um, than the improved aiming unit. So that's kind of a big deal because you're doing that a lot of the time, especially when sniping at long ranges because you don't have to move your turret very many degrees to get your shot on target. And then secondly, when you're aiming for weak spots, um, you just are tracking a weak spot or tracking like a light tank at a long range, etc. And let's just see what happens if we turn our rotation speed like way down to like 20. This this needs to be turned to 20 as well. Okay, that looks more that looks better. Um now as you can see the aiming unit is about 50% better than the ro than nothing. Um compared to rotation mechanism like somewhere in between is what i'm trying to say so yeah that's all i've got for that i'm not going to do too much more in-game tests for that because i simply it's that i've spent so much time on this topic already now if you're wondering where i got this uh spreadsheet by the way um helimech uh on discord messaged me and he's the one who made this spreadsheet um and you can test any piece of equipment using this tool um there's also another page here where you can pick f pick different equipment and you can even put on a fire control system as well and mobility slot um to see how they compare reticle size over time <clears throat> and the amount of time it takes to fully aim or something like that. Um, so it's a super useful tool, which I'm going to link in the in uh, my Discord in the resources channel. So my Discord link is in the description, and if you want this tool, you can just join my Discord. And uh, yeah, credit to Helimech for making this. Now, 
Another criticism I got of my last video was that rotation mechanism gives more time to aim after turning, but I actually acknowledged that in the video, so I don't really see why people were commenting that. I think it's because people think I was trying to say that improved aiming unit is just straight up better for like aiming or and you know that's not true because the rotation mechanism can uh get to the get on target quicker and then aim in but i mean the the whole point of my first video as you can see from the title of it is that people think that the rotation mechanism works like a, a mini v stab like it improves bloom and at least from my understanding at the time um I don't think it, I didn't think it really did, at least not in the same way a V-Stab does. And that's, that is kind of true. I mean, if you're moving at decent turret speeds, it's not like you have a V-Stab or something. It's, it's a little bit dulled. But yeah, it helps aim in a different way, giving you more time to aim. And that's still important, but that wasn't really the point of my video. And then another, another thing was people think that, think I should have done it by, time rather than by a set number of degrees um but if you were to move the ro it would you would have to move the rotation mechanism over 360 degrees if you were matching time and that would actually be worse for the rotation mechanism now if you just gave the rotation mechanism time to aim um for its extra time then Yes, it's bloom. It's a uh, circle size would be smaller, but again, that wasn't really the point of my tests. Uh, this I still I'm not even gonna cover that in this video, but I'm not sure if turret the turret moving up and down affects your horizontal turret turn speed. I I'm guessing it doesn't, but I'm not sure. Let's see anything else. Uh, I got a lot of questions about how fire control system and GLD and vents, etc. all compare. And I might make a video on all the aiming pieces of, of, of equipment in the future. But for now, just use the spreadsheet, which I linked again in my Discord. And then I, I added a couple paragraphs. Um, bond vents, if you didn't know, decreases your fully aimed accuracy by around 3.8%. Um, alone and it also reduces your aim time by 3.8 percent and the improved aiming unit has no impact on on directly on aim time um so that it vents has that benefit over over improved aiming unit and what this means is 3.8 percent that's basically half of eight percent so you're essentially getting half of an improved aiming unit if you use bond vents of a bounty improved aiming unit even um, and it also offers obviously better reload and V range among other things, which is why I almost always prefer vents. So if you ever ask, if you ever have a choice between approved aiming unit and vents, usually the answer will be vents. And then people asked about gun lane drive. In my opinion, it's practically useless on every tank, at least with the, uh, with the graphs I've seen of aiming over time and stuff. Just pick vents first. Don't mount GLD unless you're an RD. Um, and, you know, if you can't mount vents, then run aiming unit instead of GLD, for example, or rotation mechanism. Um, from the graphs I've seen, the gun lane drive needs like eight, eight or more seconds of aim time to ever outcompete bloom equipment. And that's assuming you don't shoot before you're fully aimed. That's like only if you're fully aiming in like a RD or something or like a T49, I think is when it, that's like the only time it's useful and it doesn't help with bloom. So just pick a bloom piece of equipment instead. Um, if you want to test it for yourself, use this comparison tool, like I said. Pretty much all I've got for this video. Uh, I apologize for the the mistakes and the things that I overlooked in this video. Um, I didn't want, I'm not trying to confuse you or something. I just genuinely didn't know about the turret acceleration thing. If you're interested in videos like the previous one, which I had for, um, the rotation mechanism, I'm talking like math and, uh, analyzing data and stuff and testing. 
then I would recommend you watch this video next, how you have never or you have never heard of this mechanic and what and how to abuse it. It's about a camo mechanic, which isn't commonly known until recently. Uh, and that's pretty much all I've got. So uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.